Hey gays and ghouls, it's Claire, aka Sticky Teeth, your icky artist and thrift store whore. And today I have my first ever Depop style bundle. And I'm so excited. I got this from the Depop user Butterfly Meatloaf. And I'm not sure what pronouns uh, they use or if it's, a, I think it's a pair. So I'm gonna use they for, to refer to them. So they, I bought, I bought a shirt from them a little while ago and I loved it. I loved the packaging. They sent like a bunch of extras and it was amazing. And so when they posted that they would do a bundle, I was like, I'm in. Here is what I sent them. Um, and I asked for shoes instead of outerwear, but I said that if they couldn't do that, because they didn't mention it in their original listing that it was fine. Um, so I'm, uh, we'll see if I got any. As you can see, I said that I had a specific section on my page just as bundle inspiration. So let's take a look. I'll do a little screen recording of what I have on there. And as you can see, it, it's really, it's blacks, purples, greens, and oranges. Those are the colors that I like to wear. Um, that's just my personal style. Got a lot of kind of creepy cool things, a lot of rat fink style things. So let's see how well they did. Um, this is the package. I got it crazy fast. I was very surprised. I was expecting to wait like up to a month before it, it sent. It sent out, I think like, three days after I got it and so I was a, I was a little bit worried I was like can they really you know nail my style in, in three days I don't know um, so this is the package um, originally I wasn't sure if I was gonna film it because I am very impatient and I was just gonna rip it open but I did open it and I took one peek inside and I was like no I have to I have to wait um, because I just saw one little thing and I was like I gotta film it because um there's one thing that isn't wrapped but it looks like everything else is wrapped up so um why am I still talking let's open it up reason when I why I um opened it and then immediately shut it and I was like I have to wait it's because of this keychain and that I was like as soon as I saw this I was like okay this is a good sign this is a good sign that that they've they've got it down so i think these are called fug fugglers and i've seen them before and i absolutely love them i love the the teeth of course so i'm super happy with this um with this keychain uh, i love keychains and they've got a mini backpack which i think is really cool um and i I actually have one very similar to it that I use every single day, but it's a, a, a lot smaller. And although it's nice because I don't carry that much stuff inside, I have a lot of keychains and pins that I like to decorate on the outside. So I think I'm gonna be switching over to this and just like deck it out. They, they gave me these really cool safety pins on the zippers. Um, I wonder if there's anything inside of it. Oh, I'm glad I checked. I think there's something in this pocket. <laughs> a pack of gum, <laughs> you can always use that. And this uh, lipstick pen, blue lipstick pen, super cute, and a passion fruit lip smacker. I genuinely wasn't expecting anything to be inside of it. I was just doing that, like, just cause that's so cute that they, put stuff in there. I'm already very excited. <laughs> um, it is by Tig Nanello? Tig Nanello? I've never heard of that brand, but um, so far, nailing it. I love this guy. Um, so let's see what else is in there. So there are these wrapped packages and they're labeled, but the only one that is labeled uh, specifically is this note that says to open last so i'm good at following directions and we'll do that so i think first i'll open tops and i bought a top from them before so i think they know kind of what i'm looking for i'm excited i'm i'm already very excited oh my gosh okay so this is really cool. So first, I think these are mouse or rat skeletons. Amazing, amazing. Um, I love it. 
I know I have some things in my listing likes just like this so they really paid attention and nailed it and I will definitely be wearing this. And this is what made me smile so big. I freaking love garbage pail kits. I can't believe they have, I have no idea where they found this. Um, it's absolutely incredible and it's one of my new favorite shirts. I love it so much. Okay, so the, the bottoms is very small. I'm assuming it's a skirt, which is good because I like skirts. Let's see. Oh, interesting. It's this black um, kind of lacy skirt and it's got this little slit on the bottom and it looks like it's, a, it's high waisted and falls to my knee. So this isn't something that I would normally pick up for myself. Um, I know I just said I like skirts, but I like more like pleated or skater kind of skirts. Um, but since it's high waisted, which are my favorite, um, I'm gonna try it and see how, how, it, how it looks. I'm gonna try everything on at the end of this video. Um, it's by Barbizon. So while this isn't something that I would pick out for myself, I do think that they definitely paid attention to my general style for uh, high-waisted. I like skirts, I like black, I like the kind of edgy lace look. Um, so I definitely think that they um, knew my style for sure. Um, so I'm gonna try this on and see how I like it. So I did get outerwear. I said I don't really wear outerwear and that I would prefer shoes, but because the listing said outerwear and didn't mention shoes, I'm not upset at all. That's definitely, you know, their thing. Oh, cool. So it's this like um, little flannel shirt with some distressed sleeves and safety pins and buttons. This is a Mars Attacks button and I love the Rat Fink buttons. Love that. So again, I don't super wear outerwear, but I do love the punky style. And I definitely think that this is something that I would probably just wear like as a shirt. Like I would just button it up and tuck it into some high-waisted pants and just wear it as a shirt. Um, so I do like that. Accessories, very excited. I think I've said that for everything. Very excited, well I am, I'm very excited. So let's see what I got. Ooh, okay. Fishnets. You cannot go wrong with a pair of fishnets. I love this bag. This is so great. <laughs> they gave me a, a leather bracelet. And I told them that my nickname was Slug, because it is, people call me that. And they made me a bracelet that says Slug, and that is so cute. I love that. Um, I've got these um, fishnet fingerless gloves. There's a ball chain with a butterfly on it. I love the chain. A single spider web earring. Butterfly clips. And I believe that this is a choker, studded choker. And I love chokers. Very cool. I think that's it for everything. So now it is time to open the letter. I think I will read this. Uh, it says explanation. Hey slug. First of all, I want to thank you for putting your trust in us to style you up. Secondly, we had so much fun styling you. I instantly had so much inspiration for, for your bundle and had to take a minute deciding on which direction to go. I feel like I could style your whole wardrobe. I would definitely be into that. 
We really hope you love the fit as much as we do. Here's a little rundown of our thinking process and how to put this thing together to rock it. As, so as soon as you said you love Garbage Pail Kids, I knew I had to include this tee. Thank you so much. We also saw something similar in your bundle inspo likes. I had originally intended on going with a purple, orange, green, and black color scheme, but this tee felt so perfect that the color match shifted direction, and I'm fine with that. I love, it's it's pretty much all black, and I'm, I'm definitely into that. We chose to include a second tee so you could wear the oversized Garbage Pail Kids tee untucked, or this tee tucked into the skirt, depending on how you feel. I'll, I'll sh uh, show both of those versions at the end of the video. We also saw something similar in your bundle inspo likes. Yep, I mentioned that. The silky floral skirt with lace against the punk tomboy tops made a cool punk baddie look. I also think a mini or mini skirt with an oversized t-shirt is such a comfy yet iconic look. I don't think that's something I've tried yet. The, I do wear like oversized tees over like skinny jeans, but I don't think I've tried it with a skirt yet. So that'll be interesting. Okay, so I know you mentioned that you don't wear vests. That's true, I don't really wear outerwear and especially not vests, which made me want to give you something fresh for your wardrobe that you wouldn't usually pick for yourself. Yeah, and I mentioned that, that there are pieces that I wouldn't have picked out but that I still like. Um, I make lots of punk vests and feel like such a damn badass when I moss at, show, moss at shows which screamed badass roller derby chick, which I mentioned. <laughs> Which is why I wrote your nickname across the back. Wait, hold on, I didn't see that. Oh, cool, it's really subtle. Oh, awesome, I can't, I can't believe I didn't even see that. I love it, I might go over it with um, a slightly brighter color. But that's so cool, I didn't even notice that. And look at the attention to detail, oh my gosh, they really like just care about getting things that are for you. I love it. Um, I wrote your nickname across the back. I also distressed it and added safety pins to add an I don't give a fuck energy and rat fink pins because you mentioned you love rat fink. Um, you got a studded buckle choker, um, big ball chain butterfly. The butterfly clips match the necklace, the monster keychain, and garbage pail kids tea so damn good. So butterfly clips aren't something that I've ever worn so I'm, I'm curious to try them because I know that they're pretty trendy. Spiderweb earring adds that Halloween touch. Fishnet gloves pair so well with the vest and badass vibe of roller derby and your style. The big diamond fishnets would look so good on your long legs and with that midi silky skirt. The distressed looking green leather, oh is it green? I think it's black but I'll take your word for it. Green leather mini backpack could go with so many looks for sure. The safety pin zippers match the vest and the monster toothy keychain reminded us of your username. We named him Sticky. That's so funny. I was just thinking what I should name him, but that's perfect. I love Sticky so much. We can't wait to hear what you think of your new pieces. I'd love to see it if you ever decide to post it. Tag us here. So much love, butterfly meat love. I love it so much. Now, we open this. It says, thank you. Oh, there's confetti spilling everywhere. <laughs> um, this is just gonna be really nitpicky, but I don't like when people put confetti because it just goes everywhere, but it's, it's very cute. It's got this really cool, it's got some stickers and it says 15% off your next purchase and I will be coming back for sure. Uh, thank you so much for your purchase. We are so stoked to see these beauties go to an epic new home. We hope you're finding a way to stay strong during these dark times. We also hope you feel like a total badass in all your new gear and remember, and always remember to leave a review. We'd love to hear your feedback. Stay cool, make the world your bitch. Butterfly me love, hell yeah. All in all, I paid uh, $70 for the whole thing. Um, that includes shipping. I definitely feel like I got my money's worth just with these three items. I, or four if you count sticky. Uh, I love, I love it. I'm just so freaking 
stoked about this, really. Just so excited. I wonder where they got it from. And this is really, really amazing. Um, okay, so I'm gonna try everything on in the way that they uh, described it and show you. And let's see how it looks. So here is the outfit that I chose to wear today. It's a long sleeved vintage Simpsons uh, shirt with a bright green collar um, that I got for $7 at Buffalo Exchange. A pair of bright green high-waisted shorts that I got from Oddball Vintage on Depop. And these bright green shoes that I got from the Virtual Mall on Depop. Alright, so I'm now wearing the first outfit that they sort of mentioned uh, on how to style it, uh, which is the mouse shirt tucked into the skirt, and I'm saving all the greenish accessories. So here's how it looks. I definitely think they were super right uh, when they said that they knew that this isn't something that I would normally pick, but that they thought would look good on me. And I gotta say, I'm really into this outfit. Like, I feel really good in it. Like, I love it. They didn't mention to tie the vest, but I chose to just to sort of accentuate my waistline a little bit. And I like that a lot. Um, so this is definitely something that I am going to have to wear out. I mean, what else can I say? I feel great. How should I put these guys in just by the buns, I guess, like that? Ooh. What do we think? All right, so now I have the second outfit with the more green, blue accessories. And they said to wear the shirt untucked over the skirt. another thing where it's like not things I would have picked out for myself. I wouldn't have picked out butterfly clips. I would not have worn the shirt over the skirt. Um, I still might kind of like just tie it like that but I mean I feel like super stylish. I've got my little spiderweb earring and I'm just I'm just so happy with this. I love it. Thanks so much for watching. I had a great time, a great first experience with my first style bundle from Depop. Definitely go check out Butterfly Meatloaf. Um, they are not sponsoring this in any way. I just think that they're super cool. And you can also check out my Depop uh, at Sticky Teeth. The link to both will be in the description. All right, thanks so much and have a great day.